Hello friends and greetings for today. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTKB foundation level sample paper discussions where we are talking about the tips and tricks and better time management to succeed with your examinations. In this tutorial, we are still with uh, set A, but getting started with chapter four from this particular segment and looking forward to see some of the questions from the chapter one today. But of course, you will have plenty of them to talk about the test techniques one after the other. To get started, the very first question for the day is question number 19. Which of the following is a characteristics of experience based test techniques? And again, uh, some of the fundamental concepts concepts can be easily derived from here. That is uh, pretty much what kind of experience-based testing techniques we are talking about. What does it depend on? If you remember, some of our uh, very, very fundamental concepts have been discussed in the tutorials that what are the basis for each of these uh, type of categories and what kind of uh, situations where we look forward to apply them. And that's pretty much very important for someone to be aware of because that's uh, the type of question what it deals with. So this would certainly get driven by the written options here. So let's start reading them out and try to confirm what is the right answer. So we are looking at the very first option that is A. Test cases are created based on detailed design information. Again, detailed design information is not something what the experience-based testing deals with. Indeed, to a certain extent, the white box test techniques will talk about the code, however, not the design. So it's not dependent on the design, but for integration testing, of course, I can make use of detailed design as a basis to derive the test cases, but not certainly for the experience-based test techniques. Let's look at the option B. Option B says items tested within the interface code section are used to measure the coverage. Again, interface, the word interface is a synonym to uh, interaction, communication, and integration. That again takes you back to the same thing what we discussed in the option A, and that's where it makes it wrong pretty much with respect to that of the experience-based test technique. Let's try option C. Option C says that the techniques heavily rely on testers' knowledge of the software and the business domain. Indeed, that's one of the uh, contributing elements to determine what is the basis to apply experience-based test techniques. Number one, we need past experience. Number two, the domain knowledge. And number three, the knowledge of typical defects, what the tester would have seen in past in similar kind of products and that makes it certainly the basis to apply experience-based test technique now let's try the option d before we conclude with that and the option d says the test cases are used to identify deviation from the requirements identifying deviation from the requirement i think static testing can do that or it could be a definition of defect but not certainly the experience-based test technique in fact any testing activity leads to identify the deviation from the defect and that is where we can make it very clear the right answer to this this particular question is c the technique heavily relies on the tester's knowledge of the software and the business domain is what experience based test techniques are dependent on or use as a basis to apply them at any point of time so let's look at the next question and the next question we are stepping into the equivalence partition and the question is of multiple input type and uh, we also covered this particular question as a part of our tutorial series as well so let's do it quickly once again so question number 20 says you are testing a simplified apartment search form which has only two search criteria that is floor and garden type and in the floor option, you have three further options. That is ground floor, first floor, second or higher floor is considered as one class. Whereas garden type also has three possible options. No garden, small garden, large garden. So put together at this point of time, we can understand that each classification, that is floor and garden type has three classes each. So even if I try, I can try to achieve this with a, a minimum, in, with minimum coverage is three test cases. But if you try to come up with all possible combinations, there could be three cross three, which is nine test cases, but that's not the point. Let's understand further because EP does not work on that principle. So the option further continues saying that there is a constraint here, only apartment on the ground floor have gardens. Now this line is a very tricky line. It says only apartments on the ground floor have gardens. That means the floor, which is 
ground floor will only have the gardens that means they will have the two options that is small garden or large garden and when you say the word only it means that the first floor and second floor will not be having a garden option and to further add on this they are also saying that the form has a built-in validation mechanism that will not allow you to use the search criteria which violate these rules so just assume that there's a drop down which says select floor type and as you select the floor type then the uh, field appears which is uh, having the garden type so if you say floor type is ground you would see two options in this drop down if you say floor type is first then you would only see one option that is hard coded to no garden and that's how the system or mechanism has been created and that's what they told you in this line so see at every single line you should start creating the restrictions constraints along with the uh, scenario assumptions which we have understood now at the end the question is trying to ask you each test will have two inputs uh, that is floor and garden type that means you have to combine both the inputs and create a test you want to apply equivalence partitioning to cover each floor and each garden type in your test okay which does not mean that you have to come up with several combinations of it that is nine test cases you just have to test them at least once is what we mean now what is the minimum number of test cases to achieve 100 percent equals equal party equivalence partition coverage i think uh, we need to keep it very straightforward and simple that means when you try to select garden type sorry the first uh, ground floor you would only have op two options there that means small garden and large garden because we say the constraint is only the floors uh, or the ground will have the garden type right so no garden is not an option so i have to test with uh, the ground with small ground with large when it comes to first there's only one option that is no garden and they are clearly stating that that this is not a possible not a possibility so again if i go with first floor i would only have no garden to be tested second or higher floor as a class i only have no garden to be tested so if i just combine this stack together i call it as the four test cases would be enough so exactly let's have a look on this so this is how the table should look like the test one will be ground floor trying with small garden type test two ground floor with large garden type test three first floor no garden and test four second or higher with no garden again and in simple words we do not try to come up with all possible combinations because there are constraints provided to you and that's how we can reduce the number of test cases okay otherwise for full coverage or based on any of the technique like pairwise testing technique you can even come up with nine possible test cases where some of them that is five of them would be completely invalid based on the given scenario see we always work on the scenario provided to us and based on that we take the number of test cases so keeping it very straightforward the right answer to this question is B that is four four test cases would be enough to test this particular scenario okay and again that's the minimum number of test cases what you derive with help of equivalence partition so in this particular examination you may expect single input equivalence partition or even multiple input equivalence partition right so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning Thank you.